Clutter Babes. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel if you're new here. And then welcome, welcome, welcome if you're coming back. You're awesome. I appreciate you so much. Um, thank you so much for being here. So I'm just going to kind of do, I think it's going to be a quick video, a kind of quick video. <laughs> but I just kind of wanted to show you guys what kind of inserts that I archive for um, my ring platters. So I only archive inserts from my personal size and my A5 size. And yeah, I'll just get right into it. So um, we'll start with the personal because that's the one I use the most. Or I had the inserts that I care about the most to be archived because my A5 is kind of just like a extra planner if I want to um, plan in something large. So, but this is the size that I always use. So I just have this clear binder. So I've been doing this for a while now. Um, I have, I know I have just this, bleh. <laughs> sorry, I have so much thoughts in my head that I want to get out and articulate, but my ADHD is going all, all over the place. Okay, so I got this from Amazon, this clear binder. And then this is just a spare binder that I had um, that's not in use right now. So that's kind of what I do with my extra binders is, I don't know if you saw the other video too of how I'm using 23 planners. Um, sorry, my cat's like, uh, pulling out the blanket there if you notice a little movement going on it's not a ghost or anything <laughs> um it's I, I just use my extra planners that I'm not that's not in use for like housing inserts and things like that so um this section cover is from the neutral planner that says archive and in this one I house my monthlies so I have um 2000 whoops sorry I have 2022 in here zoom it in a little bit so yeah, we have 2022 and I was using Elmo and Paper Co. Um, undated inserts. So I was filling in the dates myself. And I really do reference these a lot for doctor's appointments, especially, and like procedures that I have done, like what, what day that I did them or even what time and stuff, um, even to this year. So I like to keep them because they're my, I put everything in my monthlies. That's kind of my planning style is I'll put everything in my monthlies, even if I had a nap that day or something like that, I'll just write it into the box. So a lot of information is in there. Um, so I have 2022 and then it goes into 2023 and I use the noted company inserts for this one. And yeah, it was, I always use a month on two page as well, just cause I like the space. And like I said, like see how packed it is. Like my life isn't really that, that busy, but it's because I put like everything going on that happened. So like I put it here, well, we went to a concert, of course, put that in there. Um, right when the kids are coming over, right when my mom visited, right when we went to a drive-in movie, when I went to the mall even, just like Walmart, just like Monday, things like that, I'll keep track of still. Just, you never know. And it's just, it's, I'm in the habit now of writing it all in. So we're just flipping through September, October, November, and then December. And then so we are going, this is where I'm going to start putting 2024's month on two page inserts, but it's just January right now. So the month isn't over. So I haven't archived anything yet for 2024, but then I got these inserts from Peanuts Planner Co. And I really wanted something that just like showed my medical, I have quite a few medical conditions. So I'm quite chronically ill um so I just wanted something that showed medical stuff and so this is like a monthly view on one page just for one month and I used some stickers there that I had so 2023 and then I put the stickers for each month up there because it comes undated and so yeah this just houses all my medical stuff any appointments any like sickness that happened something big like I had a seizure um, and my, um, infusions that I get. So I have that for the entire year of 2023. And it's just a quick, easy reference if I'm on the phone with a specialist or something like that, they're inquiring or anything like that. And then, so I reprinted them. That's why I love printables because you can use them as many times as you want. So I reprinted them for 2024. So I have them all labeled and ready to go. So I house those in here. And then I also keep my mood trackers and habit trackers in this one. So I switch and try different styles of mood tracking and habit tracking, but I try to stay consistent um, each month. And then, so I just house them in here, like um, in line of month, <laughs> in accordance of the monthly sequence. <laughs> okay, that's a really long term of just saying like the months are in line. But yeah, so like I have a mood tracker for May 2022, June 2022. July 2022. This is the one I'm using to date and I've used it ever since this date. Um, it's from Monthly Joy and I really like it. I'm sure if you 
seen it in my other videos, um, I've talked about this because it has like a line graph here so you can kind of get a visual of what your mood's been like and it has a little spot here to write it one to 10. And then um, you have a little blurb area to write in what happened that day so you can kind of reference and see why you were like depressed or something like that. So I have those in here. So this is January, 2023. Then we have February, May, June, July. September. September is when um, I kind of like fell off of my habit trackers for the first time in like a year, unfortunately, but like you can't beat yourself up for that. So I was like forgiving myself for that. It's not a big deal. And a little bit in October as well. So that's, to it's totally okay. Um, sometimes you just need a break. And then, so we picked it up back in October and then, or sorry, November. And then December is here for 2023. And then again, because it's not the end of the month for 2024 in January, I don't have the mood tracker there, but these are my habit trackers. So the difference between the mood tracker and the habit trackers is that I'm tracking things like when I had a shower, when I washed my hair, when I took my vitamins, changed the bedding, um, did my dog's nose medicine, did my eyebrows, watered the plants, cleaned the toilet and sink, worked out and had no soda and then prayed. So that's kind of the stuff that I'm tracking on these ones. And this one's from EO Edits. I really love it. It's quite beautiful. So yeah, so that's the start there. So this one is September, 2023. These ones are kind of a little bit more all over the place. I haven't kept them in line as well as the mood trackers. This one's from P Paper Test Designs. So I use either edits or Paper Test Designs. One of the two, as I really like them both. So I just switch back and forth. So I have those. And then I tried the um, habit tracker on two pages, but it just when it got to the side, it was getting really confusing. I'm um, trying to line it up with the um, thing I was tracking. So I went back to um, one page. And then I also um, store some gratitudes in here. So I only just started, um, well, I started, well, I, hold on. I have, my, I have some other gratitudes from 2022 in a different pile, but I just decided to start um, keeping them in here in November. So um, from now on, I'll keep them in here. So this is from My Minimal Planner and you just write like a gratitude each day on one line. So I have November, December of 2023. And then I'm also gonna keep this insert, which is really awesome. It's only one page because you have the first six months on the front and the second six months on the back here for the year. And I'm using it as my cycle tracker. and whatever day I get it on, I just do a dot. And then whatever day I end it on, I just do another dot and then I connect it with a line so I can kind of see a pattern. I, yeah. So, um, that's super handy. And like, I'm only going to have one other page for 2024 too. So it's taking up no room. And then I just have some finance stuff, some finance trackers or expense trackers, sorry. And some budgeting stuff that I wanted to hang on to from 2023. And then this is also um, my garbage pickup schedule for recycling and trash. And I wanted to keep that in here as well too. This was 2023. And I'm doing that again for 2024. Whoops, that's caught on there. Oh well. And then, okay, so in this other personal size binder, we have just weeklies. Um, and this is, it's so thick because I've been using the cloth and paper weekly um, since 2022, I believe, or I did a little bit in 2021 as well but I don't have them logged in here because it was kind of sporadic. And I also use these, I bought these uh, printed from Noted Company too, and they're just beautiful quality paper. So I've been sparingly using those, or using these, and so I only have a couple weeks in here, so I just kind of use them when I want to get fancy and redundant because <laughs> I have the vertical weeklies from cloth and paper that are dated. And so I have 2022 in here, and it's not totally, um, I kind of took me a while to find how my my planning rhythm with these and then once I got in the groove it was it's been pretty awesome so I also got them for 2023 and I got them for 2024 as well and I really hope they don't stop making this like vertical box knock on wood because it just it just works really well for me I just put any appointments or any like plans at the top and then I just write a little list of things that I have to do if there's there's a list or anything where like put a sticker there or see like I'm um, just going to shoppers go skating um happy mail a little sticker down there so just flip through these 
how are, how was your guys's new year's by the way mine was super quiet we stayed up to literally 1201 my fiance and i and then we went to sleep it was um this year it was um his ex's his ex-wife's year to take the little ones because with holidays we do one year on one year off just so it's fair we get to spend time with them um celebrating the holiday and it was her year to take them so usually we stay up with them and then like we bang pots and pans around um and then they kind of keep the energy up so we kind of stay up a little longer but this year was just a tough one and I had a nap at like 10 yeah it was brutal but I kind of I do wish we went out or did something a little bit because yeah I know it's just kind of nice it was on a was it on a Saturday or was it on a Sunday I think it was on a Sunday and then yeah it was on a Sunday because the first of the year is on a Monday and I know you all love that so much it's such a planner thing right <laughs> if you're a Monday start person but yeah so I just want to kind of flip through these because kind of get a chance to see how I'm using them or how much is in here well, well I already said it's the whole year but and then with these um, inserts it comes with a monthly as well so it's just another thing that I get to repeat but I don't mind it at all um, and it also comes with a dashboard to like track your goals and your bills and your intentions. And this is a tiny ass little task list, but I guess they wanted to take up the space somehow. So whatever. Um, yeah. And then you can see this year, this, um, 2020, what is it? 2020? Yeah. 2023. They changed the dashboard page from like a photo to this magazine style, I kind of wish they had photos because I didn't buy the, um, I made some though, so that's fine, but I didn't buy the, um, like the, um, monthly letter dashboards that are made out of vellum. So you layer, you layer it on top and it looks, it does look really good, but you kind of have to buy those to really get the full effect with these and the design they used on the dashboard. See, like they used photos, um, Oh, that's random. They used photos a little bit in 2023. They kind of went back and forth, I guess. And then I just used some stickers. I use printable stickers. Um, I get them, most of them from PMD stickers on Etsy. I'll link it in the description box below. Um, I use my Cricut to cut them out and her, her stickers are really easy to understand. I kind of learned right away. Well, not right away. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But yeah, no, it is, they're fairly user friendly. And it's awesome because I can just reprint as many stickers as I want because I have like sticker phobia of not, of I just hoard all my stickers that I buy from stores because I don't want to use them up because they're so pretty. And yeah, but with the printables, I don't mind because I can just make more. But that, so that is the inserts that I archive for my personal rings. And then this A5, zoom it out a little bit. This is a file of facts, by the way. This is just a random planner that I got off Amazon. I can't even remember the name. It's not very good quality at all. Um, it's very floppy. I mean, floppy is good, but it's very thin and you can just feel it. It's not that great quality. So I've just been using it as the archive planner, which is okay. And yeah, so this is a file of facts and the original and the color stone. And then, so this one I have weeklies actually insert, um, archived in here. And this is a little bit more fun or a little bit more entertaining because um, I used a bunch of different weekly inserts because I don't buy the cloth and paper ones for the A5 just because I feel like that would be a little bit, a little, a little bit much for something that I just use for basically kind of fun or something when I need a larger space to plan in, but it's not all the time that I do. So I just have weeklies archived in here and they just go back from 2022, 2021 as well. I got into the planner community in 2021 at the beginning of it. I believe it was yes. At the beginning of 2021. And I really miss, I wish I was in it earlier because like the designs from cloth and paper and a lot of other stores and Foxy fix and stuff that wasn't around when I got into the community. And I wish I was able to experience like having some of their products. And I really liked the designs that oh, cloth and paper had back then. They were, they were my favorite, even though I don't have them. I've seen them before in other people's planners. Um, but yeah, so, but I'm happy to be here and everyone's amazing. And yeah, no, it's just a, it's a really great place to be. And then, okay. So that's like some weeklies. And then you can tell that I don't have the entire years in here. I just kept the weekly spreads that I kind of liked. And then the same thing goes for the dailies. So I just kept the dailies that I kind of liked for the, um, layouts and like 
highlighting and stickers and whatnot just to kind of reference back to to kind of if I need any ideas of what to do and I spread if I wanted to get a little bit creative If you want to know where anything is, just do a timestamp in the um, description or in the comments, and I'll let you know where any of the inserts from if you're curious. But I think it would take, yeah, I think y'all would be bored if I went through each one. <laughs> and then this is just a bunch of finance um, inserts that I archived. So I have bills trackers in here. I have like budgeting inserts and then I also have monthlies in here because I like to um, mark down what bills are coming out so I can get a bird's eye view. And I'm within a glass. And then I have the 2022 monthly. See, again, my monthlies are my most important inserts. So I have a, this in its own section and everything. And I was using the paper test designs one, which I love. And if you guys know if she's making 2024 inserts, I'm not sure. I haven't seen them, but I haven't checked. Like, I'll check again, but I... I haven't seen anything going on and she hasn't made, it's okay. She hasn't made any freebies. I know she's super busy with her books and everything, but, um, yeah, it was for her printable inserts. I hope that she's going to make some 2024 dated inserts because they're beautiful and we love them so much. Um, but yeah, so that is 2022 and then this is 2023 and then this one I used noted company again. I'm also using noted company for this year too because I'm just obsessed with their designs. She's really talented. I'm sorry, I just said she because I'm not sure your name who owns the shop, but she's she seems like such a sweetheart on social media. I definitely follow her. Um, and she, she um, interacts with people a lot too, which is really nice. And then, yeah, so there's December. And then this is just a little bit of goals inserts. It's actually the Paper Test Designs, the Goal Maker Bundle. And that's from 2022, I believe. And then I just have like this thing that I laminated. So you, to use it as like a page lifter back here to protect the inserts. But yeah, so that's it, guys. So I just kind of want to show you what kind of inserts that I archive and what I want to keep and kind of just like the binders that I keep them in. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.